Hi, this is Will from Engearment with a review of some Pearl Azumi kit. Like any gear, you kind of want to think about what it is you're trying to do and then get equipment that's appropriate for that. And uh, my decision to collect this gear together came about when I was getting ready to do a big ride and uh, that ride was a stretch goal I, I was going from commuting six miles to and from work on a regular basis to uh, wanting to ride up our local Fortino which is called Mount Evans and has a road to the summit of it and uh, that is 140 miles there and back from the house with 11 and a half thousand feet of ascent so it was a big day and uh, I knew I was going to have to spend a lot of time in the saddle on that day and also to prepare for it so the gear was chosen with comfort and a long day in mind The expedition gear falls right in line with that. I'll start with the bibs. The bibs have got this massive chunk of chamois uh, to really make a long day in the saddle feel okay. On your left, thank you. They're also cut with movement in mind. Well, all bibs are going to be cut like that there's a couple of things in this cut it is definitely comfortable throw in the fact that you can move easily and then there's a couple of little extra features like there are pockets on the thighs my phone now lives in that thigh pocket it is easy to go to the restroom without having to take my shirt off. That is another big pro. But ultimately, the things that set these apart are the chamois. Now, if you don't need to ride more than 20 miles, you don't need a thick chamois. But if you're going for a big, long ride, <laughs> the thicker the chamois, the happier the butt. So, yeah, expedition bibs. The jersey is again designed for a long day in mine. It ditches moisture really well, which is key when you think that on a long day you might be hot at times and sweating, but there's going to be other times when it potentially could cool off. But at that point, the last thing you want is to have any moisture on your person whatsoever. Managing warmth, when we talk about layers, could almost be renamed managing moisture because it's uh, staying dry is the, the key to a comfortable day. And uh, the Expedition jersey did a really good job at that. Throw in the fact that it's got three big pockets on the back, um, one zippered one on the left, another one on the right for small things. Now I'm just gonna spit out a fly. Um, again, big long ride. One of the things is you're gonna need a lot of stuff close at hand and uh, <laughs> I live out of stuffed pockets to be really honest oh I've gone the wrong way I'm gonna have to turn around don't <laughs> I was thinking too much about my review and not about where I was going here we go <laughs> well quick turn around then let's talk about the shoes i went with a gravel shoe with a 
with a divide, why do that? Why not go for a road shoe? Well, the bottom line is that I wanted to be able to get off my bike on a regular basis. I wasn't going to spend the whole day in the saddle. I knew I was going to have breaks of maybe even up to an hour. Um, and I was going to it wasn't a race. This was not about racing. This was just about getting to the top and back. And I was going to be able to, want to be able to walk around during that time. So road shoes, way lighter, way easier if you're a speed demon and you don't want to be using this expedition gear and gravel shoes. You want road stuff. But for a long day out, I can really say that uh, a gravel shoe on a road bike for a big day is a great compromise in that you can get off the, the bike, you can walk around and uh, it's super easy to do that. So gravel shoes feel like road shoes, there's plenty of platform underneath your feet it's a stiff shoe really helps you with making sure that every little bit of effort you put into stoking those legs is transmitted through the pedals and into forward movement you're not just pushing down you're also pulling up and uh, really does feel so effortless to be riding with a proper bike shoe on. Let's talk about the ride a little bit. So my ride, like I said, was 140 miles. It involved climbing 11 and a half thousand feet. And uh, to do that, basically, I set off at 2.30 in the morning and rode through the night because I was never going to do it quickly. I, I was going to spend a long time in the saddle. So I was going to have fluctuating temperatures. My ride was the first week of October. Hopefully the closed road would not be impacted by snow and ice. In the end, unfortunately, the final thousand feet was and I turned around before the very tippy top of the summit but I did a majority of the ride so big long ride massive temperature change from 5,000 feet at 2.30 in the morning and then back again at uh, 6 o'clock in the evening and then heading up to 14,000 feet in October when uh, you're never quite sure what the weather is going to do. So let's talk about Pro Jacket. This was amazing. Um, very light layer. Color is fantastic. It's a sort of golden yellow. There's high vis without being neon. I, I'm really not a fan of neon. <laughs> Although I see its value, <laughs> I don't. I don't necessarily like wearing it, but I like to be seen. So, um, when you have alternate colours that are just as visible, but uh, don't make you look quite so garish, I'm a fan of that. And uh, Pro fit that bill. I must confess, I was a bit dubious about taking it up Mount Evans, especially to the top because uh, I wasn't quite sure what the weather was going to do there was you know a chance that it could snow um, and it is such a light layer it is billed uh, as a, a windproof with a DWR um, which will keep a lot of moisture off you but I, <laughs> I actually rode through a storm on the way home uh, where the raindrops were bouncing off the, uh, the black top 
the trees were bending horrendously and uh, I stayed dry and that blew me away so I'm a complete convert to the pro jacket it's uh, definitely in one of my list of favorite things uh, it's uh, a layer that I can put on when I'm just thinking about wind but it's also really good unless I think it's going to be raining all day it is a really good layer for uh, keeping you dry uh, and it seems to breathe really well which obviously is key with that moisture management so definitely uh, a favorite layer and then underneath that I had a, an Alpha Pro jacket Alpha Pro is a Polar Tech Wonder material that was made with with a collaboration with the special forces it is basically a very pilled jacket so it looks like the old heli hansons where there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of heat entrapment for not a lot of fabric and uh, that's pretty key to staying warm so the jacket keeps my pro away from me uh, but allows air to be trapped and that air is warmed up by my exertion just like at the moment <laughs> breathing hard and uh, it does a really good job of keeping you warm so like I say temperatures fluctuated on that day from below freezing <laughs> all the way to about 55 60 degrees Fahrenheit mid-afternoon and uh, I wore a lot of those layers a lot of the day but um, they all fitted in my jersey pockets when I wasn't wearing them bottom line is, is when I'm going out in the mountains <laughs> I have a backpack and I really think about my layering system however when I'm riding my bike I'm trying to be as light as possible because uh, <laughs> I don't carry much that is not used at all and uh, <laughs> yeah you've really got to think about your layers so I had that summer jacket that Alpha Pro jacket and this jersey on I took a little thin woolen undergarment just in case it's put on between just over this jersey but I never used it so it did an amazing job of keeping me at the right temperature the other thing is gloves again gloves make or break a ride um, if your fingers get cold it is miserable and yet you don't want to be carrying much bulk so uh, normally I have a pair of fingerless gloves on with a, a nice bit of cushioning so I don't feel the vibrations down my arms I find them to be pretty clutch but on this ride I wanted something significantly warmer and uh, so I had the Summit Alpha gloves and again those things are incredible the alpha they got alpha on the back which is where you want to have the heat and uh, they're covered with a little bit of soft shell to keep the wind off you yeah? they got a really nice cushioning just a, a minimal one which makes riding really comfortable but ultimately 
I wore those things down to, like I say, freezing, maybe a tiny bit below in all honesty. And they worked out really, really well. So, <laughs> that's my Pearl Azumi kit. Um, currently riding around the south of Denver, getting views of my glory days on Mount Evans, feeling pretty proud of myself and very thankful for the kit that I put together, which really was absolutely perfect. I was able to carry it all in my jersey along with lots of food so I did not have much space it was a beautiful set of layers that uh, allowed me to stay warm when it was cold but not get so hot that I sweat any sweat that I did get was moved away pretty quickly from my skin um, it all breathed nicely it was just a really good outfit and I cannot give you enough thumbs up because uh, being comfortable on a bike means uh, much bigger days on a bike which means going further, seeing more and having a better time and uh, no doubt that that gear contributed to the success of my ride. So, Will with two thumbs up for Pearl Izumi and uh, the gear he used on his ride up Mount Evans. Peace. <laughs>